Barbara King's kind of throwback sneaker. This is the throwback bicycle, if you will. The bicycle spinner snake is here from Plowing Out. This is really cute. This is really cute. I, again, I'm not the garden expert here, but I know cute. Yeah, uh, exactly. this is this is this is nifty. M five two three four one. Uh, Nancy Brand Mueller, great to have Hi, you Rick. here. Hi, Rick. Thanks for having me. Good uh, to see you. Let's go into the brand first yes. of all. Okay, great. Well, Plow and Hearth is a company that's out of Madison, Virginia, and they've been around since 1980. And they are known for bringing you really unique and distinctive items for your home and for your garden, and very often items that you just don't find it like down the street at the corner garden store. Right. Or, you know, maybe more like kind of things that you see at those juried craft shows or at the flower shows that are happening now. But they have great taste. Great taste and, 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 and great we, quality. They have great taste and great yeah. quality. Yeah. They're known for their quality, right? Yes. And yes. they know you, you spend a little more for Plow and Hearth unless you're shopping on QVC. So you've got it going on in three colors. This is the red, the yellow, and our light blue, right? Mm -hmm. So a couple of these colors are like the orange is gone, the pink is already gone, yeah. and the probably gone for the season. Yes. Uh, blue is going to be the next to go. What about size on this? This is a nice 18 by 48 yeah, inches. Yes, four high. feet tall. So this is kind of what we call that mid-size midi spinner. That's it's not our six foot ones. It's also not the little small ones. This is that one that's going to occupy kind of that middle space, you know, above your geraniums, above your pansies, and you know your smaller low low plants, but not as tall as a tree. And it's something that someone who has a smaller area like a patio or a porch, they can enjoy this too because it'll fit nicely into like a flower pot. And it it has some. Uh... A justification behind it like the movement is in the wheels it is you know what is. I mean it's not just some nothing wrong with just some sort of piece of art that's spinning that's cool too yeah but this has a little story to it doesn't it? exactly so here you're looking at the yellow one and so I'll show you some of the details on this one since we're looking at it so each one has a little basket in the front that has a flower up top you've got your handlebars this kind of reminds me of the bike that I had when I was a kid I had a little pink and white bike and so I learned to ride a bike on something like this so then you have you know the wheels which is where the color is that's the part that spins I'm doing it with my hands because obviously we don't have wind inside here in the studio but it reminds Reminds me too of when I used to wrote, put ribbons in the spokes of my bikes to make it look fancier. And then as you're coming by, all of this is metal. It's all this beautiful shiny glass paint. You've got your bicycle seat here, which very often I've seen birds sitting on that when I've had mine out in my garden. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, absolutely. And on the handlebars. And then back here you have another basket and your wheels that are spinning. So it's really fun. You might be able to plant a little something in those baskets. Maybe just put a little silk plant. You know what have you put in there like too? This. What's a little that? bucket? Bird seed. You could. You could line it with something and put a little, little bird little, seed little in bird each seed one in of there. these. Absolutely. And they have little birds sitting on them. Uh -huh. So they're just adorable no matter which one you're choosing. Might remind you of going to the shore and riding bikes on the boardwalk with your family. I love that. I love that going back in time kind of mm -hmm. thing. And that, that kind of like uh, Nostalgia. It, it, some sort of simpler time kind of story, right? Absolutely. So you have nothing to plug in here. No internet access necessary. Nope. You don't need to download anything. You don't need, right? It doesn't. All you have this old-fashioned bike, and it spins, and it's pretty, and you just need a little bit of wind. And by the way, the, for, the, for another thing about Plow House, like the quality story, like the ball bearings in these yeah. things are so well made. Like there's nothing creaky or squeaky about them. Right, they're yes. really smooth, the mechanism is. You're right, you're right. And that's, you know, the plow and hearth difference. You've got something that's so well made. You have that precision ball bearing that's in the center of this spinner part right here. So it's moving very smoothly. It's not creaking or, you know, catching or anything. And, you know, you just have that charm and that whimsy. And this is one of those kind of pieces when it's in your garden, you know, it's not something that everybody has on your street. It's something that's unique and different and fun. And plow and hearth wants to give you items that help you express your joy, have some fun, look out in your garden and smile, maybe have that memory. You know, I always remember when I see this bike that my dog Peppy used to ride in the front basket. He loved going for rides on my bike. Pe and Peppy? Peppy. Peppy? Little Peppy, yeah, he looked like Toto. What, is that, yeah, was yeah he, little, like, little, what kind of dog was little, little mix, a little, little mix. Little mix is yeah, Toto mix. Kind exactly, of thing. and um, so he used to sit in the front <laughs> basket and ride around the neighborhood with me, and so that's what I think about when I see these bicycles. So yellow going to be the, uh, the next, actually blue now going to be the next to go. After that yellow, and you're loving the red as well. Four feet tall, it's on Easy Pay. Surprise, surprise, two Easy Pay, it's $15.75 from Plow and Hearth. Um, it includes the, uh, the bike, it includes a stake, 
It includes the spinning wheels. Is there anything I have to put together when I get it? Nancy? You're just going to assemble your spinner. The bike's all assembled, so you're just going to put that up on the top. Sorry, not assemble your spinner. You're going to assemble the pole and then put this part just on the top. It may be five minutes. Your biggest thing is deciding where it is you want to put it. And so, you know, I usually talk about spinners kind of going out a little bit further from the house where you know it's going to catch wind. Right. But, um, you know, you can also have it close up because something that's this size is going to really capture the wind and be something that's adorable that you can enjoy and put it out right now start enjoying it don't wait for spring get a little color and movement going right now good for you are you out of here i'm done yeah good, good to yeah, see you good to see you too rick thank you here's how we started our show with this guy 600 people are shopping for the ultimate innovations it's called the bigger